Welcome back to my channel, where I break down books into concise summaries. If you're new here, we provide you with the key takeaways from a variety of books, helping you decide which ones to read next. Now let's get started. Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel is a seminal work that encapsulates the multifaceted relationship between human behavior and money. Exploring the complex and often irrational ways in which people view and interact with it. It isn't a conventional personal finance book laden with formulas, but a journey into the realm of behavioral finance, dissecting how personal perspectives and biases mold our financial decisions. The book breaks down the nebulous concept of money into 20 short stories, each unveiling a different aspect of our psychological relationship with wealth. It illustrates how some of the most critical aspects of personal finance, like risk tolerance, savings, and wealth creation, are more about individual behavior and emotional comfort than mathematical precision. One's background, personal experiences, and emotions tend to affect financial decisions more than cold, hard economic facts. A few key themes arise from the narrative. First, the book asserts that having money isn't necessarily about becoming wealthy, but gaining control over one's time. This idea challenges the traditional notion of wealth accumulation for its sake, reframing the goal as attaining financial independence and freedom. Second, Housel underscores the importance of personal finance as an individual journey. There's no one-size-fits-all investment strategy or saving tactic. What might work for one person might fail for another due to differing circumstances, risk tolerance, or life goals. The author argues for patience and long-term perspective over instant gratification. Third, the book explores the concept of luck and risk. It stresses that every financial success or failure is not entirely due to skills or decisions alone, but also the outcome of unpredictable factors. Recognizing this can help moderate our responses to financial outcomes, both good and bad. Why should an entrepreneur read Psychology of Money? The book's insights are crucial for entrepreneurs because they are often at the intersection of decision-making and money. Understanding the influence of emotions and biases on financial decisions can help entrepreneurs avoid pitfalls and make balanced decisions. The book's emphasis on control over time, not just wealth, aligns well with the entrepreneurial journey. Entrepreneurs often trade their time for uncertain financial outcomes. Understanding the true value of their time can lead to more sustainable and rewarding decisions. The idea of personal finance as a personal journey resonates with entrepreneurship. Every entrepreneur's path is unique, shaped by their individual vision, ambition, and tolerance for risk. The book's insights can help entrepreneurs align their financial strategies with their personal goals and contexts. Finally, recognizing the roles of luck and risk can help entrepreneurs keep their highs and lows in perspective, enabling a more balanced and resilient approach to the inherent uncertainties of the entrepreneurial journey. In summary, Psychology of Money provides profound insights into the psychological complexities of our relationship with money. For entrepreneurs, these insights can guide more mindful and strategic financial decisions, align financial tactics with personal goals, and foster a more resilient attitude towards the unpredictable nature of business success. I know you found value in this book summary, so go ahead and hit that like button. It helps other entrepreneurs discover these insights. And if you have thoughts or book suggestions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe for more summaries that can guide your next read. See you in the next video.